Dwayne here, phoenixtypewriter.com. Just spent 10 minutes uh, getting this electric started. Um, shift was, I don't know, it was just so bound up. But I did finally get this uh, motor freed up and it's actually turning and the hub's not bad. Or it's probably bad, but so the machine's running. And uh, this I bought, it would, had been sitting. 20 years or something and it is turning in here and the spacebar works actually backspace and shift is working but as soon as you hit a letter this just locks up tight just watch this it's not probably advisable to do this but watch this hit a letter here oh 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 off it goes. Okay, so I got the hand crank here and I can actually turn it if I try really hard. Turn the shaft here with a little help of the tool and the shaft. I can turn it around as if it made a, a print operation. There it goes all the way. Okay, it should come back on now. Okay. And it actually moves over slowly. So what I believe is wrong, of course, it's just gummed up. The oil is, you know, 30 years old, never been changed. The oil in all these pivots, here's one right here. This is the operation. When it makes a strike, the shaft turns. There's a bearing here. There's a bearing here. Underneath here, the drivetrain of the... is this operational gear right here. Let's take this uh, nut off here. We'll get a little better access to uh, to this. Uh, oops, to these gears here, so you can see what I'm talking about a little better. Get this thing off. Okay, so we got gear pack over here. Idle the gear. Here's the gear that runs the. <coughs> oops, machine's about to fall. Okay, so this is the operational shaft gear, idle gear, and the uh, filter gear, which runs, oops, oops, I just hit a letter somehow, and it's, again, locked up. Let me cycle this through. Do this again. Force it through. So at least it's running. Oh, there we go. Still, it's, it's probably just wants to continue printing. It's probably stuck also, but let me, let me turn this again so you can see the ball I'm trying to make its print operation. It goes up and it prints. Okay, so maybe it's okay now. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to tab back over. So I believe this, these are probably <clears throat> just frozen up. So I'm going to soak that in like it's in a minute. Oh, the shaft, you can see it move, so it's probably not that shaft. So I can see this move, that little bit of play, it's probably a good sign. But I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit on this bearing over here. Let that soak in there a little bit. Maybe move it side to side. Okay, so I'm thinking <clears throat> that it's going to be these gears over here. This particular gear. I'll turn this thing off before it bites me. Or this gear pack. Or one of these bearings. These have bearings on both right here along the frame. So we're just going to wiggle this and see if anything moves. See this piece does move. It just wiggles a little tiny bit. So that's probably good. I actually can feel a little movement here. So that's probably good. I think it's this guy. This guy's not wiggling <coughs> at all. I'm going to pop the uh, clip off here and take that gear out of the, out of the process. 
Let's pull this gear out of here. See if we can get this out. Oh, that's probably it. It's not moving at all. Oh yeah, that's that's got to be it. It's, it won't even come off the shaft. It should. Uh, let's uh, let's take these off and. Actually, I'm going to pull this the shaft here. I'm going to pull this shaft out, and then we'll get that gear out and see what's uh, happening. Let's see if we can get this machine working. There's a clip over here. Let's see if it comes on. Okay. So there's a clip right in here. I'm going to pull the shaft out all the way. There's a clip. Turn this off and slide this out. There it is. Sure enough. Comes all the way out. Let's take a look again up here. Oh, that's got to be it. It's still, it's still frozen on here. <laughs> it's not, it's not moving. I can't. I don't want to break it. I'm trying to get it out of here, but there it goes. It's moving just a little bit. That's got to be the problem. This gear is just frozen on the shaft. So let's pull this off. Oh, there it goes. So that's it. This this gear is just stuck from the old oil. Can't even see it, but it's 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 stuck. So now everything should work. Of course, it's all disassembled. It's, but if we power this up, it's gonna it's gonna cycle through now. See that? That's it. The one gear is stuck bad, which is this one, and uh, so it's just got to be. <clears throat> well, the whole thing has got to be rebuilt. But but that was what was stalling this machine so see now it's moving in and out of there once I got it so everything's got to be clean all these bearings need to be cleaned out anyhow same thing's going to happen to them if they don't get flushed and uh, rebuilt basically I will do a complete rebuild on this and this machine will work like new but it's going to take a few hours in fact it's going to take more than a few hours oh yeah the carriers shaft is out. All right, Phoenix Typewriter, that is a diagnosis of a frozen Selectric 2. Good day.